What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, we are about to get into two sensitive topics that I, quite frankly, did not want to speak about. Um, honestly, because YouTube is just entirely too sensitive uh, about certain topics that, girl, ain't nobody got time. That's another reason why y'all not seeing me that much, because YouTube hating on me right now. But it is what it is, you know. We deal with everything with a grain of salt, and that's what we're dealing with. So that's what we're going to, you know, we're going to handle our business. But these topics are about two things. Krishan, for one, speaking on um, complexion, because once again, I have to use certain words because of YouTube. Complexion and religion, okay? I have to say religion, I don't think she should speak about it at all, quite frankly, um, simply because I just don't like the way she delivers it. And that's my opinion. If she was a pastor, I would not be going to Krishan's church at all. Okay. So that is my prerogative. And that's just it. I don't go to church in general because of that reason. Um, you know, you have prophets out here and it depends on what prophet you want to go with, how they speak, whatever. I believe that you have a have to have a relationship with who you are pray to and your um your you know your top man your your god your um the person that watches over you okay and that's just how i feel you have to have a relationship of your own before you even walk into a church and sit in a pew okay um so that's just my perspective on it but Krishan talks about religion all the time her and her sisters and her mother. And when they talk about it, I actually like to skip it because I don't want to hear it. Um, I don't want to hear it because they I don't like the way they speak in general. Um, and I just cannot take the word from them. All right. So I'm just letting y'all know that's how I feel about that whole situation in general when it comes to religion in general. And especially with her and her family. But we're going to get into the complexion one first. Remember, I have to use complexion. OK, now I want to make this very clear before I start this. I love them all. Chocolate, brown, light, dark, whatever, white, Hispanic. Hey, I, color never mattered to me. It's about how you treat me. You know what I'm saying? It's about the character of a person like Monique said today. So speaking on character, let's get into this video. And that synthetic weed you got in here. Who's eating me up? You're broke as shit. You're ugly as shit with a fat ass nose. You don't even, and I know you don't like your complexion. Because you look like one of them type of That's ridiculous. That's the most ignorant shit I've heard her say to this date. And she say a lot of dumb shit. Okay? That's the most ignorant thing I've heard her say to this date. Even if you cut an ass, you don't have to cut ass like that. You You know... It's it's no it's no fairness in a fight, right? It's no fairness in um going back and forth with a person. No fairness. You say what you want, you want to hit below the belt. That's the whole goal of cutting ass. But that right there ain't it. I'm gonna say this too. Since since she got a couple dollars, Krishan has lost her damn mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it like that. She has lost her damn mind when it comes to uh, how she speaks to people and how she treats people in general. And hell, I, I don't know if she was like that before. I have no idea. I ain't been with Krishan, don't know her life. But all I will say is the way she treats people, um, she just, you know, she got too much dip on her chip. I've been told y'all that way, way, way too much dip on her chip. And, um, Quite frankly, that's just disrespectful. I think it's a lot of beautiful um, women in the world. Hello, I'm going to start there. Uh, and it's a lot of beautiful women. God, you got to watch your words. It's a lot of beautiful women of all color. Okay? All colors. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And honestly, that's you. It don't matter what the fuck she had to say. However you feel about yourself and how you you know, how you perceive yourself, and that's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, honestly, I this ain't even just about Krishan. I talk about this all the time. You know, ever since, and I hate to talk about slavery and challenging things because you really got to watch what you say. P 
people get upset by the damnest things, even if you're being genuine about what you're saying. But, you know, slavery obviously existed. Hell, still do, if you ask me. But that house nigga, outside nigga, like that, that's a real thing. And I feel like that has separated us as a people in general. She ain't the only one that has made that statement. Some chocolate women make that statement about light-skinned women. Hell, even when they started doing these smasher passes um, face-to-face was the one of the the worst statement. And it almost made me cut the video off. But I just started to skip that portion. Yeah, I don't really like dark skins. Yeah, I don't really like light skins. What the f*** does that mean? <laughs> like, I, what do you mean? Like, I, I never... Like, I'm a person that like what I like and who I like. You know what I'm saying? I'm interested in the person, not the persona. Hello. And the skin color also never matter. However, I do like to date inside my race. But I'm talking about in my race. That never mattered. Chocolate, light, brown, I don't give a damn. As long as I like the person that I'm looking at, I'm cool with that. So to actually know his people out here, that look like, mm, let me make sure you like, uh, wait a minute, let me ask you, are you light or dark? Like, what the f- kind of question is that? This is not a steak temperature, but y'all dumb ass. Like, come on, bro. I just feel like people got to do better, period. And a lot of people is really upset with her in these comments, basically saying y'all got to watch who you make famous and um, watch who you give, uh, I don't know, I guess praise or whatever. Um, I want to say that I don't think any of these people signed up to be a damn role model. And quite frankly, if you look at her like a role model, you're crazy. That's just, that's all I have to say. So looking at certain people like their role models, it's just because they're celebrities. I think that's, that's our fault as a people. No, I, I would never tell Krishan to come say a speech at anything that I have. Because first of all, she's not going to have any respect for the elderly. She's going to curse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she's going to say whatever she feels, however she feels. And that's what she did. And that's what she does. So, um, I don't know why she's looked at in that way. I'll never understand it. But it ain't for me to understand. Okay? But y'all can argue with that and argue with yourselves in the comments about that. Um... But that's how I feel about that situation right there. Now, let's get into her and this damn, this statement. I just, I can't. (laughs) I got to find it first. Let me find it first. Where is the damn statement at? Was it uh, this? They don't believe in Jesus. So that's why it's happening right there. Like all them people that bowing down with them carpets that's on the floor, they bowing down to a God that said to worship his son, to accept his son first. So, and then they making big palaces of it. Like, you know, like, like, like they really stand it and stick it behind it. Like they made laws about their religion. So I'm kind of like where Jesus was born at they go over there believe in something that's totally have nothing to do with him now why she don't know it's different religions out here i have no idea and why she don't know and I, i'm gonna say this in my opinion especially with muslims they believe in jesus so well jesus was a prophet rather so with that being said i'm, I'm not muslim and i'm not here to speak for the muslims at all okay I'm just saying it's different religions out here and it it's a very ignorant statement to say the ones that be laying down on them carpets. I mean, come to speak on something like that. Like you got to know what you talking about. That's why I don't even like to speak on stuff like this. Cause some of it, I don't know. I really don't. That's why I'd be like, y'all tell me down in the comments. I know the more I get into what I'm doing, I have to do a lot of research because 
it's a lot happening that you really got to be aware of to really be like a real journalist. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. And that's why people go to school for that. So, you know, that's why I call it hood journalism. But you really got to like get into this. And I see that now since I've been doing what I've been doing. Once again, I'm new, not true. But anyway, let me let her finish. Right. Or yeah. no. Because like I've seen videos where they pray at is cockroaches and infested with like, so what is God trying to tell us? What does God have to tell you about a roach being on the floor? And why does that matter about them praying? That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. It's like ever since she got some money, she don't even know where she used to live. Like, huh? That's crazy. Not on her side at all today. That's what I that's what I want to know from this whole situation. Like what is what is the message behind the chaos? Like, yeah, we know war to war, but it's like, okay, things always happen for a reason and it's happening. What is the reason behind it? Not the economic, the political reason. I wanna know the spiritual reason behind it. Like You gotta read up on it if you're gonna talk about it. I'm just saying if you wanna know the spiritual reason behind it, read it. <laughs> it's it's there. That's just crazy, man. Then he said, girl, it's the same God. No, Jesus is different. Like, Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the, rep is the representation of God. And then God told us if we don't accept his Son, we don't receive anything out of it. So us praying to Allah, our God, it's kind of like pointless if you don't receive Jesus. Wow. I know the Muslims is hot. Man. Oh, my God. That's basically what's written in a word, in so many words. So I just feel like um, where the place was Jesus born at, like, what y'all think? You think I'm, like, off or what? They don't believe... Who was y'all that was that she was talking to? She was live with somebody. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm laughing at a comment. Um, Man, listen. Today, them two statements was probably two of the most ignorant statements I've ever heard her say or make. In her life. Okay, well, on the internet life. Okay. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Girl, I'm disappointed. But you know, it's not me for it's not for me to, you know, I I have to find a better way to articulate what I want to say in these types of times instead of running from it. Um, because it's important, but I do, I'm a firm believer in whatever you believe in is what you believe in. That ain't none of my business. I don't care what you believe in because I believe in what I believe in. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just kind of it for me. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below, but, ah, uh, no, nah. I'm absolutely not on her side at all with this one. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, that's all I got. Y'all make sure y'all check out uh, Monique and Club Shay Shay uh, video. It's on this channel. I'm going to put the link in the pinned comment. Y'all always want me to react to different stuff, but you don't watch it. You want to know why? YouTube doesn't share it. <laughs> why you keep reacting to it? Because that's what YouTube's sharing on my channel. That's what's in my algorithm. Okay? I'm going to put the video out. Put it in the pinned comment. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you don't. Whatever. Later.